We lost £105,000 after putting our life savings in a trust. Our disabled son will suffer. The telephone. e -graph. When Kathleen Bertley wandered into her local building society branch ten years ago to renew her pass book, she wasn't expecting to walk out with a noose around her life savings. Below are your comments. Apparently trusts are different in the UK than they are in America. In American, a trust is a legal document that instructs the trustee s. how to distribute the property and assets after a person dies. The trust that this article describes sounds like an uninsured investment fund. Rather standard scam. Why people put their money in one pot based on words from someone they never knew escapes me. Apparently they seem unable or unwilling to do any investment themselves. Since a lot of people have that mental set it is easy to see why the politicians who are scammers th. M's. This is a problem throughout the financial industry. Fund managers skim 20% of all gains, so it inc. Antivises taking huge bets on risky bonds and other investments. If they pan out, large fees, and I. F not, then they simply close down the fund, reimburse the remaining principal. Don't trust anyone, especially family, do your research, if it seemed too good to be true, it most likely isn't. Go with companies that have been in business for many, many, years, and only listen and ask questio. N.S. I know people who run to their so-called financial advisor all the time. I'm wondering if the clerks who suggested these trusts received a fee or bonus from everyone who sig. Net up? I don't know how it works in Britain, but I would say that a fiduciary responsibility was violated by the building society. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.